Society of the Blind Eye is easily the most mythology-heavy episode of Gravity Falls to date. Practically the entire episode is dedicated to this one specific topic that fans have been curious about for some time now. What exactly is the blind eye? When we first got that weird journal page from Dipper's Guide to the Unexplained, we were completely in the dark on the entire thing. We hadn't heard of it up until this point, which was well after season 1 finished. And so I admit to being a bit surprised when I discovered that they were airing this episode so soon. Surely they won't give away everything about the society so early on. And yet that's exactly what they did. This whole episode is pretty much dedicated to the society, what it is, who founded it, and what it continues to do. Of course by the end of the episode they're disbanded, which means they won't be doing what they do anymore, but now I'm probably getting ahead of myself. With all of that being said, I think it's time we review this one, Society of the Blind Eye. The episode begins with Lazy Susan closing up shop and discovering some of those gnomes looking for pie. Yeah, I have no idea what that part's about, but it's kind of hilarious, so I'm gonna let it slide. Lazy Susan then calls the authorities, but is quickly taken by the society, who declare, It is unseen. And can I just say how awesome this opening is? It sets up a really creepy tone, and it makes me wonder just how freaked out some kids probably got by this moment. The theme song plays, and afterwards we find Dipper pondering who the author might be, Cough Cough set up, while Mabel comes in with a letter from Armando, and she soon discovers that he's getting married, which depresses her and reminds her of all her failed romances over the summer, Cough Cough set up. She looks through the bottle, for some reason, and discovers that the author's smash laptop was actually invented by McGucket. They rush to find McGucket, bringing Susan Wendy with them, and when Dipper shows McGucket the journal entry dedicated to the Society of the Blind Eye, he freaks out and vaguely remembers that they did something to him. They then decide to take him to the last place he can remember, the Gravity Falls Museum. When they arrive, Mabel begins seeing things that remind her of her failed romances. That formaldehyde heart, that romantic diorama. Okay, no, I'm sorry, hold on. We need to talk for a second about everything wrong with this image. That everything being that this, ladies and gentlemen, is the human gender bent version of Bill Cipher. It is now canon. I truly have no words. But anyways, there's a plot we actually need to talk about. So they see some hooded figures running off into the shadows, follow him, and discover the creepiest room ever made. Ever. They find an entrance and McGucket does this. I'll hand bone a message if there's trouble. I have no idea what that means. Yeah, neither does the audience. They find the secret meeting place for the society and watch in the shadows as they wipe Lazy Susan's memories. They leave. Yeah, remind me to do that every time I leave the room. And the team splits up, the boys going to find the room of the forgotten, and the girls staying behind to make sure the quote-unquote robe dudes don't return. The boys get chased down the hall and... Uh, no. Just, no. I, I have a limit and I've reached it. There's just only so much I can take and... Well... Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. It simply does not get any weirder than this. You have done it, Alex. Well done. But anyway, they eventually find the room, but before they can do anything, we switch back over to Mabel and Wendy, who talk about boys and stuff. Eventually, Mabel gets the idea to completely erase her memory of some romances altogether. We then cut back to the guys looking through the different memory tubes to eventually find McGuckets, whose memories are apparently so important that they need their own tripwire. The members come storming in and abduct Dipper and Seuss, though McGucket manages to keep out of sight. They tie the gang up and reveal themselves, considering they'll just wipe their minds anyway, and seriously, this is a bad idea. Have any of you ever watched a TV show before? This is always a bad idea. But they reveal the reasoning behind all the mind wiping, saying that they wipe the citizens' minds of all their encounters with the strange and paranormal in Gravity Falls. So basically, they keep the people of Gravity Falls in the dark to spare their sanity. You know, I'm really beginning to question whether or not that's right or wrong of them to do. And the episode never specifically says how you're supposed to feel about that. They just don't give you an obvious moral. It's kind of up to you. I kind of like that. So Blind Ivan, yeah, I forgot to mention that's his name, decides to wipe their memories of the entire summer with his ray gun of awesome. Well, it certainly took you long enough. You erased Robbie's memory of just that one video game character guy, and yet you let these people off the hook? Like it never occurred to you to erase the memories of the one kid who was actually trying to investigate this stuff? 
Okay, I still hold out the hope that this may be explained later down the line, considering this is kind of an obvious plot hole, but still! I mean, what, is the Pines family just off limits to you guys or something? Someone explain this to me! <sighs> okay, anyway, he's gonna wipe their memories, and the team freaks out and pretty much lets loose some of their deepest and darkest secrets. Oh, guys, if we're gonna forget everything, I got some stuff I wanna get off my chest. Mabel, for half the summer I thought your name was Mabel, like the syrup. No one corrected me! I only love some of my stuffed animals, and the guilt is killing me! Uh, okay, hold on. To this girl's credit, I have the exact same problem, and it can be very, very stressful. Especially if you're under the impression for years of your childhood that Toy Story is based off true events. Well, McGucket comes in and saves the day with old-timey weapons and... <gasps> NOT DYSENTERY! So Dipper runs for McGucket's memories, but they get lost in the sucky tubey thing. It kind of travels around for a while in a comical fashion until eventually it falls into the hands of Blind Ivan, which is still a totally awesome name. So he tries erasing their memories again, but McGucket comes in to save the day. Apparently, he's already so much of a blank slate that it doesn't really affect him by this point. That is both extremely heroic and hilarious, and I still have no idea how that's possible. He slaps the ray gun of awesome away and- Oh my gosh, he's gonna kiss him! Uh, oh, um, never mind. He just knocks him out. Obviously, that was what I was supposed to be expecting. Uh, anyway, so they type the society guys and wipe their memories of the society, meaning we won't get any more of the society, which depresses me more than any mere mortal shall ever know. They decide to view McGucket's memories and what falls is one of the most shocking moments in Gravity Falls to date. We discover that McGucket did not, in fact, write the journals. He did, however, create the Society of the Blind Eye. Apparently he was working for the author, though, as he elaborates that he's haunted by some big mistake he helped the author do. So he created the Ray Gun of Awesome in order to forget it all, so that he may actually get some sleep at night. But eventually it drives him mad, which brings us to McGucket in the present, still broken. You kids help me get my memories back, just like you said! But... Did you want those memories back? After all these years, I finally know who I am. Maybe I messed up in the past, but now that I've seen what happened, I can begin to put myself together again. Still don't know what that means. Neither do we, Tipper. Neither do we. And that was Society of the Blind Eye, an episode I absolutely adored when I first saw it. I loved how dramatic it was, and yet it was still filled with the Gravity Falls humor we've come to know and love. I'll admit, I wasn't exactly blown away by the Mabel subplot, but it did tie into the main story very well, which I appreciated, and it's nice to see some continuity, along with some self-awareness from the Queen of Silliness herself. Overall, I thought this was a great episode. It revealed a lot, so it's definitely more fun to watch the first time around when you don't know any of it is coming. But upon rewatch, there's still a good amount to enjoy. And so concludes this episode of What's that? An end credit scene? But It's all so familiar. It's almost like I can remember. All right, you're getting closer. Every day it's getting stronger. <laughs> yes. I don't care if it's dangerous. I don't care how long it takes. I'm gonna pull this off, and no one's gonna get in my way. Holy. Am I blanching, girl? We blanching. I live up in a mansion. Am I blanching, girl? We blanching. I live up in a mansion. Eat your own pants, yeah. Society of the Blind Eye is easily the most mythology episode. Episode. That's a word now. Yeah, neither do we. I, I can't say my line! <laughs> okay, you got this! She looks through the bottle for some reason and discovers that the author's smashed laptop was actually invented by McGup. Oh. oh my gosh, you can probably hear that music in the background. Can't you? Oh, I hate her. And the girls stay behind to make sure the quote unquote. <laughs> the members come storming in and a. I had to write that sentence like that! And. Oh my gosh, she's gonna kiss him! Oh, oh. 
Uh, never mind. He just knocks it out of his hands. What? Oh, crap. <laughs> That's not the line. That's not the line at all. <laughs> that is such a stupid joke to make. <laughs> oh, gosh. What's wrong with me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Yeah, neither do we, Dipper. Neither do we. Hey, that did sound crappy. I did it, I did. I got it right this time. I did it, I did it. I didn't fail. I didn't fail. Yes. I ain't so good at this. I ain't no karate at this. You are dead and fail. I didn't fail. Should stop the recording. Ladies and gentlemen, was gonna haunt your nightmares. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it.